I've never met anybody like John Harkey. He's been a board member and a leader in nine public companies in finance, healthcare, energy, real estate, biotech. His restaurant operation had 200 locations all over the world and 12,000 employees. Welcome to CRO's Battle for Excellence Top Gun Conference. I've always described John as the most interesting man in the world. John Harkey Jr. can always say he natural birdied the 18th at Pebble Beach to win the Pro-Am. Higher, further, faster. That is John Harkey. He's truly a larger than life human being. I'm a fifth generation Texan. I was blessed to grow up in Brownwood, Texas. 20,000 people right in the center of the state. I like to say the state of Texas revolves around Brownwood. So Central Texas has been very important to the Harkey family for generations, from a very early age. I wanted to be an entrepreneur. I mowed lawns, I sold mistletoe, I installed sprinklers, I swept the warehouse for my father. He really taught me that you have the freedom to explore and be creative if you control your own destiny by being the captain of your ship. That was my dream. We met for the first time at the Gregory Gym for a ping pong match from the earliest days of our friendship. John was a mentor and a coach to me. One of those pearls of wisdom was if you want to launch big ships, you've got to go where the water is plenty deep. I absolutely believe that what Star Sea versus Texas changes the world because I have personally experienced that with my relationships and the businesses that we have built in partnership with Dr. David Jenikov, another Longhorn, created a cure for spinal muscular atrophy, the number one genetic killer of children across the globe. No child has ever survived this disease past age three until the drug of Vexus was created with John's sponsorship and capital at risk. Most people know John Harkey by his business and entrepreneurial success. I know John through his generous philanthropy and his work with nonprofit organizations and most particularly the Boy Scouts of America. And the organization gets better decisions because John is there participating, and he comes with an incredible amount of energy, and that's infectious. John earned his Eagle Scout at the age of 14. I think one of the traits of all Eagle Scouts is at a very young age, setting a long-term goal and persevering to achieve that goal. And that same kind of perseverance drives John to always be looking for new opportunities, both to learn something, but also to have an impact on it. There's a saying that the tree is in the seed. What I try to do today is planting those seeds, whether it's drug development or maybe keeping our animals more healthy. There are so many interesting, engaging things that can have true impacts, but you know, the path is never easy. When I grew up, my father's business burned twice, and I saw the resilience, and there was never a choice of not succeeding. You dust yourself off, and you begin again. I think the most important characteristic for anyone to be successful in business or in government service is to maintain their personal integrity. We're all born with our integrity fully intact. It's God given to us. Only we can relinquish it by compromising ourselves. John certainly has kept that level of integrity, and I can never recall a time when John wasn't watching the person he's with and making sure that they're having a good time and that they're succeeding. And that's unique. That's not something everyone has. The cornerstone involves family. At home, I'm surrounded by three very strong, independent women, and they motivate me to set an example every day of the obligation that we have to give back and the ability that we have to impact people. Plant the seeds, the trees will follow. We've only begun to see the impact of his philanthropy and his impact on future generations. He cares about it. And we should all be pulling for John's success. Because he's one of these guys, the better he does, the better we're all gonna do. For his renowned successes in business and philanthropy, John D. Harkey Jr. is worthy of the McCombs Hall of Fame.